All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn CSS grid by building a magazine. Step 64. So a quote is not really a quote without proper quotation marks. We can add these with CSS pseudo selectors, all right? So we'll create a quote and then we'll have the before pseudo selector after it. Uh, and it's going to set the content property to uh, a quotation mark with a space following it. And also we're gonna create a quote after selector and set the content property to a quotation mark with a space preceding it. All right. So we'll start off by saying dot quote, and then we'll do, uh, what is that? Colon, colon, B4, like that. Then we'll have the uh, curly braces like that. We'll say content is now, let's do uh, single quotes, then we'll do a double quotation mark inside of the single quotes and we'll have a space as well. All right, so let's uh, cap this off with a semicolon and then let's copy this thing with a control C, we'll press enter after the curly braces and do a control V. We'll change the, the before to after, all right? And we'll put a space in front of the uh, quotation mark and then we'll take the uh, space away from after the quotation mark. There we go. Let's check it, looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 65 and we'll see you next time.